In this video, I wanted to show the application of the forearm guarding block in a one leg stance or also knife hand guarding block in one leg stance specifically. So one leg stance is you have all of your weight on one leg, you bring your knee up in front like this, and then, so this would be one leg stance. One leg stance with a forearm guarding block looks like this. So all of my weight on one leg, this knee brought up here. Some students make the mistake of cheating and putting this foot in like this and pressing against their knee. And while it's true that it's easier to stand if you do this and you hold your leg against your knee, some, some schools do this and they refer to this as a a bending ready stance or bent knee stance where they're like this and they they bend the knee in but this is not a position that you want to be in to throw a side kick for example because when you try to come out with a side kick it basically has a flicking motion on it you can't <clears throat> you can't get a straight and proper side kick from that position so you need to have your knee up like this out in front of your body and upright here and then you can come out and throw a proper side kick so i've got my dad with me here again to to help out uh, with the video but let's say that i have an attacker so if you're just in like a, a fighting stance so i have somebody who's ready to come at me so i could be in a regular guarding block like this to protect myself with one leg stance i'm basically taking it a step further. So when I bring my leg up off the ground like this, I'm basically indicating that I'm ready to kick. I mean, it's, it's like you're a snake that's ready to strike at this point. So I bring my leg up like this. You know, I, I have no mobility in this position. So the only thing I can do from here, I can either put my leg down and go into a regular guarding block and move away, or if I'm up like this, a kick is coming, obviously. So from this position, up like this, I'm ready to throw a side kick, for example. It doesn't have to be a side kick, however. When I'm in this position here, I could also come around and throw hooking kick. So coming out with a hooking kick, I can come straight out with the side kick like this. I can also throw from this position here, I can throw roundhouse kick. Not as easy to throw roundhouse from that position. I'll do from, uh, from this side here. So from here up, side kick. I can also do from this position here, I can do the, the hooking kick, but I just don't want to hit you with the hooking kick. If you go back just a little bit, so from here, up like this, there's the hooking kick. Or from this position here, there's the roundhouse kick. And of course I can attack the legs as well. I can come down and throw a low side kick and attack below the belt. But the idea is this is a posture when you see people doing this. One leg stance is a posture where you're readying to strike. So you, you are in a position where you've, you've made up your mind that you're ready to kick from that stance. So remember, remember to bring the knee up and out like this. Don't cheat by having your leg bent in like this, because from this position here, you can't throw a proper sidekick anymore from that position. So, until next time, thanks.